Hey everyone, so today I am doing my very first uh, review of uh, Figma. I have, I don't have very many of these, but I've had this for a while. I've just been waiting to unbox it and do a review for you guys. Um, the only other uh, Figma sort of thing I have is my Sailor Moon one, but I'm trying to get more of these figures, especially now that I have my new glass cabinet for all my figures and I love it. If you don't follow me on Facebook, um, I posted a picture about that, uh, I think a couple days ago, on me setting it up in my room. So a lot of reorganizing is going on. So I'm due for a new <laughs> room tour because it's changed a lot. So anyways, we'll get this right open. So here I have um, an ultimate uh, Madoka or Madoka, however you pronounce it. I, I really honestly don't know the right way to pronounce it because... There are so many people that pronounce it one way, and there's other people that pronounce it the other way. And then people say, that's wrong, that's right, that's wrong. So <laughs> I have no idea. I'm kind of like in the middle. I know that the English dub says Madoka and not Madoka. But I originally thought it was Madoka from when I saw the manga or saw the title of the manga before I even watched the show. So... You guys can tell me which one's right, whether Madoka or Madoka. But anyways, I know that they're probably both wrong because I'm not really good at pronouncing it, but it's the Ultimate Madoka, the Puli Magica, Madoka Magica. So, yeah. I'm really excited to have this. It's a little smaller than I thought, but I'll get her out of the box and show you guys. But first, I'm going to show you the box. So here's the side of it. And the back, you can have all of her in all these different poses. I might not pose her all here, I'm just going to put her together and show you the pieces and do a pose that I like the best. And then here's the side of the box. I do have some more Figmas on order, so I will be getting more of these if you like me unboxing these, thumbs up the video, and we will get this started, so. Here is the inside. Okay, just put the box back here. So we have her here, and there's two layers, I think. So on the bottom rack here, we have uh, her hair extra pieces. These are the movable hair pieces. Uh, we've got her um, bow and arrow and arrows. So. There's quite a different ones. There's like these ones that have the little spikies on the bottom. And then we just have these plain ones here. So we want to get her out. So Maybe there is so much. Okay, so here we have um an extra face. It's like more of her serious face it looks like. Even though they all look serious to me. Get her out here. And we'll start off with her. Get her legs up. Definitely got a lot of packing material. But um her dress moves as well. So, this is going to be a very poseable figure, that is for sure. She's kind of got like paper on her torso here. That came right off. I don't know how I'm supposed to. Maybe you're supposed to like rip that off. Sure, 
Sure. Maybe. Well, I guess I'm going to play with that later because that's really weird that they would put paper in there that's pretty much impossible to get out. So, anyways, here we have Monica with this ugly little piece of paper that I can't get out of her boob. Yep, that's just going to sit there for a little bit. So... I think is, this is pretty awesome. I mean, I love the paint job of this. Um, I love how her dress is posable too as well. Okay, let's get the box up here. So we're going to figure out a really cool pose. I mean, this is kind of like my favorite pose up here. So let's point this up there. So you guys can see. It's in this pose right here I'm gonna try and go for to get her in because that looks like the best in my opinion my favorite so so we have her and let's get some of her other pieces out so of course we have her wings two wings um, course have our instructions that is completely in Japanese. I don't know if there was a two two releases of this, if there was like an American or um, a American release or Japanese America release. I obviously have got the Japanese release, so I got mine from Japan. Here we have her stand put together and we have all of these extra hands. And then we also, of course, get our um, Figma ba baggie to put all of her pieces in. So I'm going to put her together and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I got her completely put together. Um, but I'm very, very sad because I tried to put her stand on. And if you can see, it broke in the hole so yeah I'm kind of bummed about that um I don't know what I'm gonna do I'll have to wait till Steven comes home because he's gotta try and get that out with pliers or something because wow I mean I wasn't even tugging that hard I was just kind of like you know a gentle twist and you know inch in and it just snap and I was like oh no so, I don't know how I'm going to display her right now, because obviously I don't have a stand now, because it's broke, that I'm really bummed about. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and like order a different stand where it's like a torso one, but I don't know how that's going to work, because she's so big. So, if you guys have any ideas on how to get new stands for a Figma like this. I am so upset you have no idea but otherwise I mean she's a really good figure I mean I got there it's a very hard figure to put together with all of her hair accessories and stuff here let's go over here look at my messy floor but um yeah she's got her hair moves um uh, all her hair moves here uh, she's got her wings. You can move her wings up and down, which was troublesome to get in also. Um, posing her was very hard. Um, obviously, I'm not going to... I don't have her on the stand, so I can't really pose her right now. Oh, that's so upsetting. But, yeah. Nothing I can do about it. I mean, I love how her dress moves. It's just, it's very frustrating trying to pose her. I'm trying to sit here and I'm trying to play with her legs and every time I play with them, it like pops out and I was like, ugh, because I'm trying to like get it to like go in and then have her knees together and it's, I don't even know how they did it in these pictures because it is very challenging, I'm just saying, so, 
Well, but overall, I really like my new figure, outside of the fact that I just broke her stand. Uh, I don't know if other people have had this problem. I'm sure people have had broken stand problems before. I'm not the only one, I'm sure. But, you know, I'm always gentle with these things, and... Yeah. Gentle is very hard to do, apparently, with this figure. But that's so upsetting. <laughs> So I don't know how I'll display her because she can't, she can't really sit very well. And I guess I can try, but yeah. Otherwise, I was going to put her stern face on, but I put it on and then I ended up swapping it out because I liked her smiley face better. Um, there's a lot of different hands to choose from, so it's kind of hard. Um, this one, I think, was the original one I had, but... I honestly, I could not get um, the bow and arrow in that one, so I don't know if this is meant just for like the arrows or whatnot, because, I mean, you got your single arrows here, I mean, you could just um, slide it in like that, so I don't know if that's what that one's more for, but otherwise I couldn't, I couldn't get the bow in that one. Yeah. And then also when you get her um, hair pieces out, they come with plugs. So you um, have to take these off if you ever get this figure. So I got mine off of Amazon. I believe it was um, $55. I don't know what the original retail for this Figma was. But um, as Figmas that I've been trying to buy buy lately, I would say $55 is a very um, decent deal. Uh, I Like I said, I don't know what she originally retailed for. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Ultimate Madoka or Madoka. But uh, if you have her, let me know if you had any problems with the stand. Because I don't know what I'm going to do now. Whether it's super glue the stand permanently in or... Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem like a good idea. I probably won't do that. <laughs> or just trying to get a new one. I don't know if Figma, if you go to the Figma site or um, the company that is Max Factory. Oh my gosh. Factory <laughs> Company um, has new stands you can um, order. But I'll have to go check after I get done filming this. So that is my review and unboxing of Ultimate Modica Figma. Uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!